I'm in the parking lot of the laundromat that I'm about to go in and do laundry in. Uh, today I'm going to take it easy. I have been just, just my adrenaline's been going over the last couple days, dealing with the storms, navigating uh, the floods in my home on wheels in this RV, and it's it's just a different experience. I've been in storms before in sticks and bricks, and it, it, it doesn't compare to the fear that I have being in a storm uh, in a van on the road trying to figure out where to take shelter and be safe in the event of a tornado because over the last couple of days the storms the winds have been so high I mean I had to it got me out of bed I, I mean one minute I'm you know looking outside and I'm hunkered down and it's gray and it's you know you know cloudy and then like within a matter of seconds I was just like what is that noise I look out and it's pitch black where I'm at, the lights blew out, lost power. Um, the winds were so high. My van was rocking so bad that I got up and got dressed and was prepared to take shelter um, inside the building where I was at. Uh, the sirens, I heard sirens going off. I'm like, what? <laughs> like tornado sirens were going off. And I got some footage. Um, I didn't film uh, that day it was my day to kind of relax but i did get some footage and i will be showing you guys in this video that footage a little bit later on my refrigerator is thawing out because the ice in it is thawing out because i can't keep it on so let me show you this is what i wake up to you see the water on the floor it's coming from the refrigerator and so this is what i wake up to and it just goes all the way down And I can tell you it's extremely frustrating uh, to wake up and have to deal with a thawing, a thawing out refrigerator. I mean, this has still got ice on it, but it is just, I mean, everything in here is remotely, it's cold, but, but this is thawed out. You see that water thawed out. So I'm, bit, I'm just frustrated trying to keep this refrigerator alive. And this is all I have in here. It's just drinks. I pulled this ice out of the freezer. As you can see, there's no ice. That probably was what melted. And um, yeah, just hummus. I don't know if that's still good, but I'm going to sort of give it a try because I'm not wasting food. But you see how my refrigerator is fairly empty because I don't want to keep anything in here see it's just, everything's wet it's cold but I don't want to keep anything in here that's gonna go bad of course I've got a few energy drinks but I don't you see there's no meat there's no nothing there's no nothing in here it's just drinks and everything else I'm going to put some more water in here to kind of keep it cool. Don't worry guys, I'm, dang it, I'm not putting that in there. We're just going to try our best to keep the refrigerator as cool as possible. So that's what we have in here. And no food, just drinks and condiments. And the condiments stay cold enough to where they don't go bad. But the refrigerator is not cold enough for, like I said, eggs or meats or anything that I want to stock in there. Yogurt, I can't. Let me show you the battery. Right now it's at 12.6, the coach because I was just driving and I had the vehicle on idle but I don't know let me turn the lights off well I'll turn off in a minute give it about mm, 10 minutes and uh, we'll check again and I'll show you that the battery um, is dead I'm using my shower towel to dry the floor because it's gonna get washed today anyways okay floor is dried and let me show you the battery it wasn't even 10 minutes, it wasn't even 10 minutes. 
battery's dead. You see that uh, orange circle or orange triangle above the battery? It's dead. 11.3 or what I'm talking about getting something small like this you know it's a, a red cooler it's eight bucks this is kind of the section that I'm talking about you know this is what I'm talking about I've got plenty of space for it it's a need I can definitely use it more than once you know I think this is cool freeze me So I'm going to figure out which one I want and then I'll come back on and show you guys which one I'm buying. I've decided to get this one. I did some research on Amazon, looked up the reviews, read it, uh, researched it, and I like it. Um, things stay cold for more than 16 hours, which is more than enough for me. Um, I like the fact that it's got a hard shell or you can take the hard shell out and it's mesh. I like the fact that it's zipperless and uh, it's big enough for me to store what I need to store in it for the next day until I can uh, get back on the road and charge up the batteries and it's compact enough for me to be able to store it. Uh, it's only $14.88 so we're gonna go with this one. Can I tell you how happy I am that I finally got my glasses adjusted? Walmart has a glasses place and they adjusted them for free and I bought some uh, ear holders for my glasses as well. So you'll never see your girl push up her glasses again. I know a lot of you guys are happy about that so am I. So I'm on my way to this battery shop. I just left the battery shop and the guy only had one deep cycle AGM battery that would fit my RV. I need two, but he did give me the recommendation of, uh, our, of a battery place to go. And I'm going to check that out in a couple days. Um, they close early today and I called them and they're shorthanded. So they told me to come back. Uh, they seem pretty knowledgeable. They said that it depends on the RV. They're able to install batteries. Um, Let's hope this works. I'm 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 crossing my fingers, but it also give me time to to call for and get some more information on the batteries that I also have in here and ask their opinion about the deep cycle AGM batteries that will go in here. So I'm super stoked about that. Right now I am hunkered down in uh, one of my chilled spots. Uh, the sky looks gray. I wanted to go to the beach today, but it just it's not it just doesn't look good <laughs> It looks like it's gonna rain again and given my my experience over the last several days I just don't want to test it. I don't know what this weather is gonna do if it does rain what it's trying to do So I'm hunkered down. I'm gonna get some work done And then I'll see you guys after I get my work done see you guys. I went to Walmart and bought me a cooler as you guys saw, but now I'm gonna go to REI and look at their Yeti coolers. And if the Yeti cooler is better and I think it's more efficient, I'm gonna return the Walmart cooler. I did keep the receipt, so let's go check it out. These coolers are $200 and they're pretty big. But I guess you get what you pay for. These are just way too big. 
I mean, look how big this bad boy is. I decided to purchase the Yeti cooler. Um, I'm gonna take the one that I bought at Walmart back. I only pay like $11.80. And my rationale thinking is, while I am trying to live as minimalistic lifestyle as possible, you get what you pay for, right? If, I'm, if this is something that I'm gonna keep for a long time, what is going to be a better use? An $11 cooler, that's probably not gonna work, or a $200 Yeti cooler that I can use, continually use, um, that is going to work. I've read the reviews, I've talked to the people at REI, and they said that your ice pack will still be frozen the next day. Um, so I'm about to get some work done. And while I'm working, I'm gonna show you guys some clips of the storm that I went through uh, later that night uh, from the previous video. So the previous video you guys watched of me navigating the floodwaters of Michigan uh, several days ago, later that night, a uh, bigger storm came and it was, per it was a very uh, scary experience for me. Uh, nonetheless, it was a day that I wasn't filming, but the winds and everything, it was just so hectic that night that I had to get some footage for you guys. So while I'm working, take a look at this footage and then I will see you guys for dinner. I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified. I am shaking, like this is the worst kind of weather I've been in in Michigan. Like it's thunderstorms and I'm shaking. Like I've never been in this kind of weather before. The wind is extremely high, my van is rocking. Like I got up and prepared my van. I put the emergency brake on. This is bad. Y'all can hear it, right? I'm sh sh shaking. And there's no lights. Let me show you. The power's out where, where I'm at. The power is gone. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, just relax. It's so bad. People are pulling in and getting off the roads. Like, look at that high winds, trees. I mean, I've never seen nothing like this in Michigan before. Got an RV pulling in next to me. Like, people are seeking shelter. This is bad. Like, look at that. No power at all where I'm at, at this truck stop. No power. Everything is out. I mean, the weather has not been acting right over the last, I'd say, year. This is wild. This is wild. Wild times we're living in, man. Michigan, not, not like this. Jesus, get me through this. Get me through this, God. <sighs> I mean, look at this. Let's roll the window down. Look at that. Look at that. What is going on with the weather, the world? What is going on? Look at that. What, what, this is Michigan. What is going on? This ain't Florida. What, what is going on? This is like the only downfall of van life is when you're in bad weather, you got to figure out a way to seek shelter in a way that is safe for you. Um, in a way where if you have to exit your vehicle because of tornado like weather, that you're able to do it. And that is like literally one of the downfalls of family life is just being able to seek shelter and finding a safe place to kind of hunker down in really bad weather. Especially if you're in a new area that you know nothing about, 
you're screwed. I'm fortunate that I'm in Michigan and I know kind of the areas and flood areas, but still the way the weather has been going over this last year, it doesn't matter where you're at. Everywhere is up for flooding. The weather is wild. The country is wild. Everything is wild. I, I've never been nervous. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm filming it. I don't film bad weather, but this right here got me out of bed. I got dressed, and I got ready, got my shoes on. So if I have to exit this van and run into that truck stop, I'm doing it. So, like, I'm literally prepared. Like, I'm not playing no games. I'm not about to lay down in this. This ain't no let's go to sleep. Oh, nice rain weather. This is get ready to exit out. If it's, the tornado sirens go off, if, if the weather is too bad, if flooding starts, like, get the hell out of your van type weather <sighs> is that a siren going off let me check the weather in this area I hear a siren Do y'all hear the siren? It's time to eat and today I'm going to attempt to make TikTok's viral cheeseburger taco so let's make this bad boy what you're gonna need is a tortilla I've got 93 7 ground beef uh, roughly a half a pound and two slices of cheese Now we're going to season it. I'm just going to use some hamburger seasoning. Keep it simple tonight. And some garlic powder. what's left of it I'm gonna add some sweet candied bacon seasoning so I want my stuff to taste like a bacon cheeseburger
this is what it looks like. Um, did the best I could. We're gonna put some pickles on it. We're gonna try this burger sauce, secret, secret burger sauce that I got at Walmart. I am not confident. <laughs> Hopefully this tastes good, but this is what it's looking like. And uh, the, the shell is, the taco, the tortilla is pretty hard. So I'm assuming you just pick it up and you fold it. Yep. Okay. First bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. I mean, look how massive this thing is. I should have used double tortilla. <laughs> look how big that is. I like the fact that it's got some texture to the tortilla. It's very crunchy. I don't like that it's messy, but let me give it a try and I'll let you know my honest opinion. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, it's nothing special. It's, um, the tortilla is actually really good. It tastes just like a cheeseburger. Um, I like the fact that the shell, the tortilla, it's got some crunch to it. It's not soft. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. It would have been a lot more, the, the shell is not greasy at all. It's not oily. Um... It would have been a lot messier had I used a fattier um, cut of ground beef, but I tried to get the leanest cut possible so there is no grease in the pan. Um, so yeah, I mean, looks delicious. I mean, it looks really good. Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty good. Like I said, it's... I'm not going to be too full because it's not bread. But... I don't see the hype over it. It's just like a taco burger. But before I go, I forgot to tell you guys. I did donate that bag of stuff that I had in here to Salvation Army. Um, I took that last week. The only things I did take out were the, the Michigan hat and the black sheep hat. I did take out for sentimental reasons, but I did donate that bag of stuff. Uh, I went uh, probably a couple hours after they opened. There was nobody there. I was able to drive right up, open the door, hand off the bag, and, uh, you know, get that out of the way. I am still... I'm almost done. I still have to go through the stuff up front and a few little containers up at the top. But for the most part, I'm almost, I'm pretty much done. So that was a big relief to get rid of that stuff and give it to someone who can use it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and uh, finish my dinner up. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me. I know I sure enjoyed your company. Um, you guys are freaking amazing. I'll continue to say it until I can't say it no more. I have the best community on YouTube. You guys are just freaking humble. You rock. Trust when I say I appreciate you guys. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.